What's up guys? So today I wanted to do another tutorial about how I made my last video which was a DIY room decor organization and I thought I would skip making an intro and everything and just go straight to the point. So I'm gonna open Final Cut Pro and this is what my timeline looks like. It's pretty messy. So this is my video. Okay. There's more at the top, goes all the way to the top, and yeah, so it's pretty, pretty messy. Um, so this took me about two whole days to edit. Uh, basically, day and night I just edited because I wanted it to be up on Friday night. So um, I'm going to show you the intro. Okay, so this is what my intro looks like. Um, by the way, in my last tutorial, my footage got deleted and I actually didn't finish to explain how to put a GIF inside your video. So um, this is what happened. You know, when I said you had to convert and go on Google and convert it, and once it, it's converted, what you do is basically go to your finder and find where it is. It should be on your downloads and it should be Instead of .gif, it should be .mov. So then you can drag it, drag it, and then this is what it's going to look like. So first of all, I want you to say that you... So you see, even if I took transparent background, it doesn't show transparent. So what I do is I go here at the bottom and it says blend mode. And I just try every mode to see which one is best. And usually darken is the best for me because my background, my wall is white. So this is what I do. Up. What's up guys? So first of all, I wanted to say that you guys So are this is how I make my chips. Also, sometimes when you see it moving, what I do is go on my effects effects and I like to put this effect which is called hand held and I put it in a lot of my f lot of my things so here it appears here and you can see the shakiness more and the distance so this is what it's going to look like now What's up, guys? so first of all I wanted to say you see how it moves so yeah so let's go to my intro So I always start with a white background or a black background, but when my footage starts all white, I just don't bother putting another one. So I always put my footage first and then straight away I, I choose my music and I put it. Then what I do is spa hit the space bar and then hit it again to the beat that I want. And then is when I'm going to cut and then put another footage and another footage and then I will put my transition and then I will color correct. So basically here what you see is not my camera. The quality here, the colors is not my camera, it's me color correcting things. So um, as I said in my previous video, I always put, always go to basics and put vibrancy so it's here. So I drag the vibrancy here and without the vibrancy it would look like this. See the difference? No vibrancy, lots of vibrancy. So I put it really up usually. Then what I do is put my letterbox as usual and I change it to white or to black. I always put the border size up and I always choose the first one or the second one. 
Then I put my footage and also transition. When you hear this, the rewind, I find it here um, in my library. And when I do this, this sort of sound effect, I always put this one because I think it goes really well with rewind. When you do, I think it goes really well. Then I put my clip and when you see it's really smooth, it's because I always put stabilization, like I said. If I don't put stabilization, I'm going to try to show you what it looks like. Okay, it's really shaky. It's not like I prefer to put stabilization all the time. Then, so what I did here, you see the bit? I tried to put the bit when I close the jar. Um, and this is just takes time and just I always try to set it as much as I can with the bit. And actually what I did was put the footage, take one part, so I go here, range selection, I select the beginning and I do this for a lot of my clip. And then I go here and I put slow or fast and then the rest of the clip is normal. Take the other part and put it really fast. I'm going to show you what it would do. Okay, so that's what it would look like. You see, it goes really slow and then really fast. Now here, what do we have? This is the scratch sound effect. And usually when I do the scratch sound effect, I always put bad TV, as I said in my previous video. Then here I put letterbox, as you see. And this, I believe, was a reverse clip. So it looks like I'm in reverse. So I go here. Reverse clip. And then this. I put this slow and then this fast. You see? It begins at slow and then it ends up really fast. Bam. This is what I did. I cut the, the part, then I put slow here, fast here, and then slow again. Then what I did here is the same. Reverse clip looks actually like it's go going back in the bag, but the actual footage is this way. I pour it in the bag. I reverse it and it goes back in the bag. And here I did exactly what I showed you in my last video. It's pam 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 pam. pam. So this is what I did is put the blade and then cut a small part from for example here to here and then I copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste. Then transition. Then here I reverse the clip also. Then transition. This transition is dropping. I showed you in my last video dropping, I use a lot. Here I didn't reverse. And here, puff, I cut and I put earthquake. Earthquake. So drop in and puff. This is earthquake, which is here on the FX, earthquake, here. This was reversed also, and I did the same, fast and then slow. Then another transition from my Pixel Film Studio that I bought. And for everything, I say it again, I put vibrancy. Actually, also, I wanted to show you, when you put stabilization, but it's still not really, really smooth, what you do to put it even smoother is check stabilization. And then you can go here, sorry, here. At the bottom, it says video quality. And you, it's always on normal. And what you want to do is put optical flow. This is going to make it look super super smooth 
Okay, so then it's when I talk. And what you see here is a GIF also. And because the GIF is too small, I copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. This is, I went on Google and I just typed in awesome Tumblr transparent and I found this. And then to make it disappear like this, I just put a transition. And to make it sound like it appears, I'm gonna hear the sound effect. This is the sound effect. I put it when it appears and then when it disappears. This is the sound effect that I found in the library also. You guys are awesome, you are amazing, and I love you Here. Subscribers in two. Two. And the ding is a ding sound effect, as easy as it sounds. And I found it in the library. And then the two, I just found it on Google. I put two, Tumblr, transparent background. I put it and, you know, you see how it moves? It's because I put the effect and held. This effect, I drag it on top. And here it appears here and I can see the shakiness. I can put it really, really up. Subscribers in two days, two two days, days. and that is amazing. And I'm just so happy and so thankful. And I want to say thank you so much, guys, because you make me this so happy. Same. And you seem to love my videos and you keep asking for more DIYs and more fun and couple tutorials. What you want to do, I will try to make. This was a transition. And the sound effect that I put is whoosh, wipe transition. This is what I do. And then the transition is called slide, slide, this one. And this with a sound effect. I have no clue what you want to mean. I will try to make this That's what happen. Fun. So this I put a lot. <laughs> so, so what I do, I'm going to do a DIY room decor open is I cut and then in the middle, I have it on my downloads. I found it on Google and then I put the I drag the image. Sometimes I like to put bad TV. And what sound effect is this? Beep. Beep one sound effect. So today I'm going to do a DIY room decor organization. This that appears here should be here somewhere. So this is what it looks like. And for every one of them, each of them, I put a ding sound effect. Ding sound effect, ding sound effect. And how I did this, I just went on pickmonkey.com and I went to a transparent background and I just made it. It took me maybe 10 minutes for each of them. But yeah, and then I just drag them and add the ding sound effect. <laughs> So today I'm going to do a DIY room decor organization slash tips to study and help you study and help you concentrate. So I hope you guys like it and let's get then. started. So yeah, that's it for today guys. Uh, if you have more questions or if you want me to do more tutorials, uh, yeah, just tell me. Love you, love you, love you. Bye. <laughs>